Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Mr. Tater Buggin. Hope everybody's doing all right tonight. Looks like the weather's gonna be nasty around here for a little bit. Everybody come on in. We're gonna be not cooking tonight. We're gonna be doing a no-bake show tonight. Something really easy for you. I'm gonna give everybody a few minutes to get in. Cindy's in already? Hey, Cindy. I just see one comment. That's Cindy. No, that was you. No, that's Cindy. She's our admin, our moderator. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, Debbie, I see you there. Come on in, everybody. Let's do some desserts tonight. Looks like we got a good crowd coming in. Hey, Penny Williams. Hey, girl, we're going to be setting aside several things tonight. Everybody's piling in. Glad to see everybody. I guess everybody's going to be inside tonight, and hopefully they can tune in to us. There's Terry Chisholm. Terry Chisholm's here. Hey, Terry, everybody. I'm going to look real close and see if I can see some names here. Uh, there's Charlene and Terry Chisholm and Nancy and, oh, yeah, hey, Michelle Eckert. Record. Hey, everybody. Regina, yeah, sounds good to me too. What we're going to do tonight, we're going to do two recipes, a very simple little no-bake um, desserts that you can throw together in a matter of a, a few minutes, and everybody in your household is going to love them, either one of them, I'm sure. Um, the kids will love it, your husband will love it, you can make it for yourself and have a little decadent, decadent treat, but uh, it's really, really simple to put together. Wow, a bunch of people in. Glad to see everybody. I wish I could see all those comments. My, my beautiful assistant, who normally is right over here for me, is over there in her recliner tonight. She's a little under the weather. She's not feeling so good. I didn't want to cough and clear my throat and bug y'all all evening, but Lisa asked a really good question. What's that? Have, I, have we pre-baked the crust? Let me show y'all something. <laughs> Let's get this. Let's get this over with right quick. See, see what that says right there. Ready to eat. <laughs> That's a graham cracker crust, everybody, and it's a it's a no bake. The show is no bake. Uh, yeah, we got a little snow spitting outside right now. We're supposed to have a little bit come through here tonight. I don't think it's going to be much of anything, but temperature is really going to plummet tonight Sorry, yeah, the wind is here. yeah lindy is uh, she's a little under the weather she's kind of coughing and sneezing and has a little bit of a sore throat so as she said told me tonight i'm not going to be doing a whole lot of comments so uh i'm going to have to try to keep y'all uh uh occupied here yes carol miss frost. what girl carol frost just sent you a thousand stars a thousand stars oh carol, carol. thank you well, okay, I'll see y'all tomorrow. We're going to go. No. <laughs> no, let's get started here. Glad to have everybody here. I can't see all the names, but Lindy is watching for me, and she's going to try to help me with comments. I'm reading thank them all. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Thank you for sprinkling. And uh, we're going to get started. So the first thing that we're going to do tonight is a banana cream pie. And it is no bake, uh, and it's it really is delicious. It, 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 I think you'll really love it. And the first thing we're going to do is start by making our own whipped cream for that. So we're going to need two cups of heavy whipping cream. And let me assure you, this is good whipping cream tonight. <laughs> and I've shaken it up. <laughs> so we need two cups of that. We're going to need four tablespoons of powdered sugar, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my super duper, actually it's not mine, it's my wife's super duper mixer here. I'll uh, it to you. Two cups of this heavy whipping cream, we're gonna put that in there. That's one, and uh, I have my back to you because the plug for the mixer is over here. 
I'll try to get you over that way. I want you to keep that cup out because we're going to need that here in just a minute. And it doesn't even need to be rinsed. I'll tell you why. All right, let's get this going. Now that has to be mixed on a pretty high speed, so we want it to whip up and come in uh, and begin to come up to some stiff peaks. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that up. In the meantime, we're going to put in one tablespoon. Can you hear me okay, or is that pretty loud? I think that's pretty loud. But one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to put that right in there. Well, that's, this is cooking right here. This is cooking. All right. That's going to start stiffening up here in just a minute. In the meantime, I am going to start with some bananas. And you want some bananas that are a little firm. You don't want them green, but you don't want them really ripe. I'm sorry, that was four tablespoons of powdered sugar. Not, not granulated sugar. Four tablespoons powdered sugar. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. And then one tablespoon... Oh, uh, I'm sorry, one teaspoon. Huh? Yeah, and, and I will share this recipe. No, I won't. My wife is going to share this recipe with you. Uh, she'll put it on our side here, uh, probably in the morning. But we're going to start with some bananas here. And what we want to do is uh, we're going to peel these guys and... Then we're going to start slicing those up and have those ready to go. And I'm going to get rid of that. And you just want just slices. And we need about two bananas now, if I, if I didn't mention that. I'll go ahead and get these sliced up for you. I don't want to bore you with time here, but... I hope everybody loves bananas. If not, I have a treat for you later because we're going to work with pineapples. Okay. It is a teaspoon. A teaspoon. All right, we got. We got pretty good peaks going on with our whipping cream here. Let me go ahead and get this other banana cut up. And then we're going to move on. Hi, Margaret. Again, I can't see everybody. I, I appreciate we've got 170 people, and I really thank you for that. We've got 170 people watching already. I'm going to finish slicing these up, and then we're going to go to the pudding mix. I think my problem is mostly this huge weather change, but it's a little bit worse than it usually is, and I didn't want to be clearing my throat and coughing where you could really hear me, y'all. Thank you for your well wishes. Yeah, she's uh, sitting a little away, away from the phone here, so uh, she doesn't sound terrible to y'all. All right, our bananas are cut up and ready to go. Let me uh, get rid of this stuff here. Our whipping cream is ready. Now we're going to start with the pudding. So we need, let me get this out of the refrigerator. We need one cup, one cup of 2% milk. 2% milk. That makes it a little bit lighter. I'm going to put that in there. Uh, we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that is right here. Okay, Rita Burmeister made your taco lasagna the other night, and it was delicious. Oh, that's some good stuff. That always turns out, it's a simple dish. It usually, I don't know, it's always turned out great for us, and we really enjoy that one. Dolly sent you stars. 
Thank you, Dolly. That's my sweetie. Uh, all right, we got a uh, half a teaspoon of vanilla in there, and we're going to add. This is a box of or a package of Jello Instant Pudding, and it, it, it there are three different sizes of vanilla uh, of Jello puddings. I don't know if y'all knew that or not, but uh, what you want is the three point. I don't know if you can see it there. Three point four ounces of vanilla instant pudding. We're gonna put this right in the bowl here with the milk and the uh, vanilla that we put in there. And then we're gonna whisk that. And we need to whisk that for a couple of minutes here. Uh, please put the bowl on the cutting board. They can't see what you're doing. Oh, okay. All right. All right, just a big bowl and it's a, it's a cup of uh, 2% milk, uh, the one package of uh, vanilla pudding, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract just to make it taste good. And you just want to mix that. You want to mix this for a couple of minutes, really, because uh, that cold milk is going to start, uh, make the pudding start uh, thickening. So you want thick in here we're going to add some whipped cream I'm not whipped cream but uh, the whipping cream to it here in a minute as soon as it begins to thicken up for us it doesn't take very long it'll take just a couple of minutes but you want that to be combined really really good Starting to thicken real good for us. Hey, Judy Zeppa. Long time friend, glad to hear from you. How many people we got? 206 is what I see, what do you see? That is instant pudding, yes it is. It's a it's Jello uh, Instant Pudding, and again, it is the 3.4 ounce package. Can you? I got my finger over it, hadn't I? 3.4 ounce package of Jello Instant Vanilla Pudding. All right, can you see that that's beginning to thicken up a little bit for us there? And you want to stir it again for a couple of minutes at least, just to make sure you've got all that put, all that dry pudding incorporated. Can there be farmers here from Australia? Australia? Yes. Well, we are sure glad to have you, girl. Another Lindy. Another Lindy. You're a long ways away from us, Lindy. Thank you for joining us. We have a Lindy in Pickwick and a Lindy in Australia. All right, that is good. So now we're gonna add um, three cups of our whipped, whipped cream that we made. So bear with me here just a minute while I get this out. I like to clean up just a little bit while I'm going here. That makes my wife very happy when I do that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna use three cups of this uh, whipped cream that we made. And that's one. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, if you wanted to, you could use some uh, Cool Whip, but I kind of like this, the, the taste of it when you make your own. All right, we're just about there. That's gonna be enough. I'm gonna put that back in there because we're gonna need that in just a minute. 
I'm going to set this aside. And then we're going to stir this. Actually, we're going to, what we need to do is fold this in. And I'm going to use a spatula to do that. When you get a chance, tell them what you did today. <laughs> Okay, so everybody, uh, or most everybody here has heard the story about my uh, father-in-law's uh, 71 Mustang Mach 1 that he's had rebuilt. And uh, he, uh, of course, has been a little ill, although he's getting really good. He's been doing really good the last few days. Yeah. But uh, a couple of times since the weather's been good here be uh, the last week or so, he's had me... Uh, <laughs> I'll go over and check on him and he'll say, let's go for a ride in the Mustang. So uh, I get to take him out and drive him around in his Mustang for a little bit. Well, there's still a couple of little things that need to be fixed on it. Uh, one of those uh, is the instrument panel. All the, everything on the instrument panel does not work exactly right. So we drive around. Uh, one of those things that doesn't work is a gas gauge. <laughs> And uh, so we're driving around Bartlett today, and uh, I knew we were getting low on gas, so I told Richard we were going to have to uh, head to a gas station, which we started toward one, and we ran out of gas before we got there. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are sitting in this beautiful 71, bright red 71 Mustang uh, on the side of the road, out of gas with the hood up. So I had to call... My son, Chris, and y'all know Chris, y'all have seen him. Uh, he usually goes to work about 3 o'clock. He's a tattoo artist. Uh, and I, it was about 2.30, so I called the house real quick and had to ask if uh, he had left yet, and he hadn't, thankfully. So he brought us some gas and got us going, and he went on to work, and we went to the gas station. So that was my excitement for the day. All right, we have this all mixed up here. So what we need to do now... Kayla, hey Kayla. Um, Chris to the rescue today, Kayla. We're gonna take this ready to eat <laughs> graham cracker crust. <laughs> and we're gonna put about um, one and a third cups of this uh, pudding mix in the crust. Dolly said, what'd your stepdad say? Probably something that we can't repeat on live TV. Uh, it, it was a lot of what we couldn't say right here. <laughs> and, uh, He's a mess. He's been giving Gerald a run for his money lately. He has. He's been quite oh. spry. All right, so what we're going to do is this one and a third cups, roughly, of the, the pie mixture, we're going to put in the bottom of this crust and kind of smooth that out and make a layer. All right, and then we're going to take the bananas that we have sliced up and we're going to, uh, I don't know, let's see if I can get y'all down to that a little bit better. Is that better? Uh, we're going to uh, layer some banana chips here. Banana chips? Those are slices. Those are okay, they're slices. Better watch it. I'll be making sockets. <laughs> socket balls. I'll be putting them in socket <laughs> I balls. I can't say that word. I can't. But yeah, socket. Who in the sockets of the muffin pan? Yep. So what we're doing is just making a, a good layer of these banana slices. And those will go around pretty nicely. This is going to be so good, y'all. And it's so easy to make for those of you that like... Mm, sorry, that had, that had, I had to have that little taste there. All right, so we've got a pretty good little layer of banana slices there. 
So it sort of looks like this. Everybody see that all right? Now we're gonna take the rest of our pudding right on top of that, make a nice heavy thick pie. And I'm just gonna layer that around. Betty, we, Mom and I used to make that chocolate pie too. So good. What is it, that layered chocolate? It was, no, actually she said she would do the graham cracker crust like you're doing and just put chocolate pudding in it and uh, cool it on top. Oh it's yeah. Great dessert. I come from a family of six and my mom knew all of those easy, simple tricks. She could feed six kids with that sim those simple little desserts and uh, of course they didn't cost a lot. Yeah, Shirley says, so where are the dogs? I guess they don't like desserts. Yeah, there's no meat going on over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're kind of wrecked out over there. They, uh, I think they're kind of out of it this afternoon. They're busy today. They've been going all day long, it seems. Jennifer wants to know what we've had for dinner. <laughs> Fact is, no dinner yet. Yeah, I'm over here dying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the, we've got a pretty pie going on here. All right, so... We've got this now. All right, the remaining banana slices that you have, take those and we're gonna stick those in around the pie just for kind of a garnish and decoration. Yeah, we made a strawberry lasagna. That sounds gross when you say it like that. It does, but it's just a layered lasagna dessert. It's no bake. Dolly, those bananas are not going to have time to turn, honey. They're going to, th those neighbors are going to whoop that pie down before those bananas turn. Yep. <laughs> All right. So let me show you what we've got. We have a finished pie. A little decoration there. Tell me if you can see that all right, baby, once I lift it up there. Okay. How's that? Is that better? I froze? Yeah, there we go. Wait a minute, let me pull it back a little bit. How's that? That yeah, let me catch up with the lag. Oh, much better, yes. Okay. And smile. Now, <laughs> I've been smiling. You gotta do a screenshot. Oh, okay, screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what you wanna do. Because this is a pudding pie, Take the little cover that comes with, with it and put it over there. <laughs> You're laughing at my screenshot, aren't you? I love it. <laughs> and put this in the refrigerator for a little bit. Let it firm up before you serve it. Um, it's real easy to make so you can make it before a meal. Put it in the refrigerator. By the time you've had meal, it's ready to eat. So I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. Hang on just a minute. They've got you up to 242, and they're just excited about jazz hands and jigs. Oh, no, they think they think there's going to be a dance, don't they? Oh, Tree says, you need to show us the strawberry lasagna before June 16th when I live on strawberries for about a month. It was so good. Oh, my. I wouldn't let myself eat that little bit of it, but... My parents, uh, 
They did. 13 and they went through that in two days. All right. Now, um, I've got to switch gears here for the next <laughs> dessert. So y'all bear with me here in just a minute while I readjust. Because I have to go to a whole different deal for you. This is going to... Yeah, up to 247. 250. Goodness. You're getting a whole bunch of hearts. Wow, thank you very much, y'all. Y'all are in a good mood tonight. Thank you very much. And I hope all of you like these little simple recipes that I give you. And I hope you try them because they are really easy to do. Okay, everybody, we will share the uh, strawberry cheesecake lasagna with y'all as well. You know what you got on your face? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> y'all, I caught him. I turned around and I saw that in his mustache. I might have licked the spoon. <laughs> Okay, so uh, just about re readjusted here, y'all. Bear with me just another minute. Because we have to get the mixer out of the way. sheet and I've got just a little disposable um, aluminum pan here that I bought. We're going to need a food processor. Snow? Uh, you missed it. A gust of wind. Oh, I see it, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That one was easy, but this one is easier. And this is called Mr. Tater Buggins Pineapple Dream No Bake Pie. This one is really easy, so we need two sleeves of Ritz crackers. Bear with me here just a minute. You do need two full sleeves. And then in your food processor, I don't know if it'll reach all the way here, but I'll try to get it as far over there as I can. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, y'all can see my food processor, processor there. All right, two sleeves of Ritz crackers. You can use bananas, you can use strawberries. This, I'm gonna tell you that this is, uh, it's a cream pie, so uh, pineapple just happens to be one of my very favorites, so that's that. this pie is really great for me, but you could use uh, strawberries, bananas, you could use uh, blueberries if you wanted to. No, I don't afraid that's no kin of mine. Tate is such a common name. It has become a co common name. 
All right, let me tell you one secret about this before we go any further. Two sleeves of rich crackers, but I want you to save five crackers and put them in a little baggie like this and seal it up because we're gonna crush those outside of what we're gonna do for the, uh, for the crust here. All right, so we're gonna put all of these in the food processor. And this will be noisy, you know. So we have that sleeve in there and I'm just gonna give that a, a little twist there. All right, and get the other sleeve. What we're gonna make is a rich cracker and butter um, crust. Just similar to a, a rich, I mean a graham cracker crust. So we're gonna use this entire sleeve two times. Where are you? Are you in the, I was in the sea. All right, excuse me. Who me? Yeah, see. I'm right here. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you could see the, uh, 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 well, it's, this is all we're seeing. huh? See? Is it frozen? Because you must be frozen because I'm standing in front of the, it doesn't usually do that. Yeah. Huh. I have, I'm going to have to go out and come back in, I suppose. I guess. Um, can everybody see me? Okay. You can crush them with a rolling pin. Yes, you can, Sue. Uh, I like to do them in the uh, food processor. It kind of grinds them up real nice and fine. Uh, but to each his own. Uh, Michelle, let's see. I'm looking. These desserts are so yummy. And pineapple, anything is great. Yes, it is. Um, okay, Betty, you, yeah, you see me. Okay. I think she's back on over there. She, she, was, she had a blank screen. Didn't see me at all. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna crush these up, but first I'm going to uh, get, I need a stick of butter. One whole stick of salted butter before we make all of that noise. I'm back, I'm back, I'm out. Yeah, these are rich crackers and they're just really buttery. That, that makes it just really extra good. So we got a stick of butter and I'm going to kind of cut that up so that it melts a little more evenly. Get it down in the bowl. And excuse me while I put this in the microwave just a moment. going to be noisy for just a second. I'm just going to pulse these. And that's all that takes. got is uh, some nice fine crumbs. We're going to go get that butter. Hang on just a second. Could you use unsalted butter? Well, you could. Recipe calls for salted, but that's entirely up to you and your taste. That's not an issue. So I'm going to get this butter to just melt out a little bit better here. <laughs> um, I don't think it'll taste the same with saltine crackers, do you, babe? 
I don't. No, it would not have the same buttery goodness taste. No. Um, was that one sleeve or how many crackers? It's two sleeves, about 60 crackers is what it comes out to. There's usually about 30 in each sleeve if you've counted those. If not, you can count them one day. That'll give you something to do. <laughs> All right, let me get a bowl here. All right, so we just need a nice big bowl. We're gonna put our crumbs in there. And those dishes are for Lindy later, y'all, in case you're asking. <laughs> hey, Amanda just got here from Amanda May. There's Amanda May. Hey, Amanda, thank you for joining us. Guitar Day is playing live tonight. There's gonna be named that tune at 7.30 Central. I can't wait. If I can stay awake that long, I'm gonna be there. All right, so that's one stick of butter melted on two sleeves of, of uh, Ritz crackers. We're going to try to get all this butter out of here. There we go. All right, and just mix this up real good until it's all incorporated, and you'll see that it starts to get a, a kind of nice and moist where you can pack it. I'm sure you probably have all had to make a graham cracker crust at one time or another, and that's all we're doing is making a rich cracker crust. Mix, mix, mix. So, what's the weather where everybody is? Uh, uh, we are in, in a little snow right now. Oddly enough, it's uh, been close to 70 degrees the last couple of days. And then today the high is like 49 and now it's snowing and we're going down to 21. So, and that's why my little darling over there doesn't feel very good. It really messes her up. All right, we're just gonna mix these up. Uh, It'll become moist and kind of crumbly looking. And try to get all of that butter off the bottom of the bowl. Just cut them. Do you add any sugar to the crust? What? Do you add any sugar to the crust? I do not. Not to the crust. You, this is going to be sweet enough. Let me promise you that. Uh, again, we'll, we'll put the recipe out there and you can uh, alter it however you'd like, but... I would say try it. Let's make the recipe one time and then change what you want to change. All right, so that's uh, all mixed up. We're going to put all of this, the crust makings, into this 9 by 13. And then we're going to spread it out, pack it down a little bit. Where's she? 80 and gorgeous in California. <laughs> That's not even fair. Yeah but, yeah, but how much is the gas out there? <laughs> well, Lisa says 80 here in Fort Lauderdale. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's snowing everywhere but Florida. <laughs> oh, yeah? Florida and California, apparently, and Arizona. All right, just spread this crumb crust out as evenly as you can. And then once you get it pretty even, uh, you can actually take a little bit of it, of it up the sides. I like to have it a little bit up the sides, not all the way, just a little bit up the sides because it looks real pretty when you serve it out. I'll try to get a picture of the snow maybe tomorrow morning when I get up, Melissa, yeah. Try not to leave any holes in it. And then once it's there, we want to take this you can take a spoon, you can take a glass or anything. Just pat it down a little bit. And that just kind of packs it in and makes it a little firmer. Cindy, I have made that, the mock apple pie with Ritz crackers, yes. I sure have. All right. Now, 
once you've got this done, and you see that I've got it all the way across the bottom, a little bit up the sides, not much, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for just a few minutes while we do the, the, the mix so that it can chill a little bit and firm a little bit. And we're gonna take, we're gonna use the same bowl that we did the crust in, okay? So we need one can. It is a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple in heavy syrup. And we're gonna leave the syrup in there. Let me open this can right quick. Or not. I don't know why it doesn't like these cans. Oh, come on here. Bear with me just a minute. You know what? I might have to, uh, certain kind of cans. All right, I got it then. All right. All right, so it's one 20 ounce can of crushed pineapples in heavy syrup. And I just got my local Kroger brand. Very delicious. Leave the syrup in there. Do not waste that syrup. Tell Wendy she did not miss the gym. Where are we? We're at 254. Y'all y'all got 50 more to go. Y'all want to see a jig. All right. We got the pineapple in here. Now, to that, we are going to add a larger package of Jell-O Vanilla Instant Pudding. This is the 5.1 ounce. Uh, the package says it serves six, but you want to use the big package. And we're going to put that right in there. The pudding mix right in with this crushed pineapple. And I want to just I want to just stick my face in that pineapple anyway. This, I love pineapple. All right, so we're going to pour the, pot, the pudding in here and throw some trash away. Linda, I haven't posted the recipe yet, but I probably will post both of them and the strawberry one tomorrow morning. All right, so we're going to mix this mixture up real good. Get the pudding incorporated in this pineapple in the heavy syrup. We got what? We got the stink bug. That's all I got to say. We got the stink bug. Okay, whatever. Yes, that's all because of y'all, Rhonda. Thank you so much for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Yes, we are. We are going to be live on YouTube now. Well, she will be. Hopefully, I'm going to look well. They have to allow it first. All right, we got this all mixed up good. Now we're going to reach in and get a large. We have a question. Question. Can you use the grated cracker crust for this one? Yes, you can. You can. Uh, this is just kind of a di little different twist. But yes, you could use the graham crust. <coughs> get ready to jig. You're at 278. <laughs> It takes 300. Whoa, oh, heat. You almost got stepped on, buddy. All right, so we need 16 ounces of Cool Whip. And it really is better, best if it's thawed, but... I'm gonna, I left one in the freezer by accident. Accident. 
Yeah, it was an accident. So we're gonna we're gonna thaw this out is what we're gonna do. Little by little. I guess that's my mistake for the night. Is leaving one pack, one tub of this in the freezer. Minnie, you could make your own whip top and you could do dream whip or just make your own if you don't like cool whip. You can make your own. You can use heavy liquid, uh, heavy whipping cream. Uh, uh, Powdered sugar. One cup of uh, two percent milk, um, four tablespoons of powdered sugar, and uh, a, about a teaspoon of vanilla, and uh, make your own whipped cream. All right, I'm gonna begin to mix this up and see if we can get this cool whip to thaw out a little bit and mix into this. Squirt ready whip on top of it. Too. Well, I'm fixing to put a, a thawed package right on top of it. No, I mean, I was telling them oh yeah. Cool well, whip, yeah. Oh yeah. I guess you could do that too. That's a cheating way to do it now. But it's so good. All right. So I'm going to put this package. I've got, this is actually two eight ounce containers of cool whip. And this one is thawed. So it's going to be nice and soft and creamy. And then we're going to fold this in. All right, we are making the filling for our pineapple no-bake pie. So you want to just incorporate that. Make sure you get all mixed in good. That cool whip is thawing out real quickly and mixing in real good. Uh, Dolly, it is. I'll pop, he's going to get me some. Uh, we've got a Chick fil A really close. He's going to get me some of their chicken noodle soup. As soon as I finish playing with y'all, that will, that will feel good on my throat. I'm going to run and get her. Try to take care of my baby. Oh, yeah, because that Jeep won't make it through the snow. <laughs> I ferried, if you'll remember this time last year, I was ferrying nurses in the That's true. foot and a half of snow. That's true. Uh, Melissa, yes, I didn't think about that, but you can absolutely eat these. Absolutely what? She is, she's on a soft diet for like three months. Oh, so gosh, yeah, this is... This is, these are cream pies. They're, key word, cr creamy no bake. Yep. All right, so I've got those mixed up real good. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. I've never tried their mac and cheese, Mindy. That sounds good, Margaret. All right. Again, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't see a lot of those comments, but I want you to know that I appreciate you being here. And it's fun to do this for y'all. That is mixed up really good. All right, so let's get our crust back out of the refrigerator. It's had just a few minutes to... Uh, kind of cool and firm up a little bit. <laughs> All right. Here 
comes our Ritz cracker crust. And we're just simply going to take this filling and fill in. <laughs> Penny, um, I'm, the, I'm usually the dishwasher loader because he says he doesn't know how to load the dishwasher. I can't load the dishwasher. <laughs> he can pack a car like Tetris, but loading a dishwasher is not his thing. <laughs> All right, so I am just going to, I don't know if y'all, can y'all not see that? Let me get that, let me swap sides with that. All I'm doing is kind of spooning out this filling and we're gonna start spreading it around. There's plenty of this filling, so. These aluminum nine by 13 <laughs> work really good for this because once they're done, you just dispose of them. And they probably won't, this probably won't last very long around the house, I'll tell you that. It won't last long next door, that's for sure. <laughs> My mom is so excited. Yep, she is. She loves the desserts now. And she weighs all of like 97 pounds. She needs some of these desserts, yeah. doesn't she? Uh, yes, I have, Rhonda, and she did have her nerve block, and uh, she'll probably get to sleep good finally tonight. Darla, that's a good question. I think it's time for me to make uh, the next section of his recipes. Uh, I just need to... If I'm still sick tomorrow, I will work on that. I sure will. I, I had to do the first set. I just sat and worked on that for eight hours straight. So, I, yeah, I will compose those for y'all, hopefully this week. <clears throat> Kathy, thank you so much for those stars. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you all. I, I really appreciate y'all watching me and me fumbling through the kitchen here. So it will probably be tomorrow because just because of the way I feel tonight, it'll probably be tomorrow, but we're going to give you a bonus recipe tomorrow morning too. So. All right. I'm just about got this done here. <clears throat> All right. Just smooth that baby out. And Pick up the mess you made. Well, how did y'all suddenly activate a stars party? This lady, <laughs> my goodness. <clears throat> it would seal you. It would be perfect for a church potluck. Oh gosh, yeah, that's uh, this, and it's easy. It, it, I mean, I'm doing two here in less than an hour. The, the trick is, though, that both of these need to be made a little earlier and put in the refrigerator and, and chilled so that they, they firm up a little bit. Now, you remember the five crackers that we put in the uh, little snack sack? We're just going to crash those up. Crash them up? Crash them up. We're going to crash these up. Crush them up. Now, for a little bit of decoration... Can everybody see my, can everybody see my pie? Look at that. Lots of pineapple chunks in there. So for decoration, we're gonna take these Ooh, that's a lot of hearts. rich crackers, thank you. We're gonna take these rich crackers and just kind of sp sprinkle them around on there. Thank you. Y'all are so good. Y'all yeah, really are great. great. Thank you, Denise, for those stars. Yeah, Robin, he has some good man uh, technical terms for cooking, doesn't he? Crashes them up, muffin, <laughs> muffin sockets. Yep. Yeah. I put them in the 
That was a funny one. Everybody loved that, I think. Oh. Yes, they hold on to that. Sharon, yes, I do. He's wonderful. It was vanilla, Judy. Okay. Our pineapple dessert is done. And it's got a little decoration on top. And I'm going to hold that, try to hold that in the light where you can see it. <coughs> but you've got a 9 by 13, lots of dessert. Feed a lot of people, make a lot of people happy. Because I'm telling you, they will love this if, if they like pineapple at all. So um, what we're going to do, put the top back on this one. And put it in the refrigerator. It needs to chill for about two to four hours at least. It could stay in there overnight if it needed to be. Yes, Betty. Oh, pecans. You can add chopped pecans. But through the magic of television. Thank you, Karen, for the stars. Through the magic of television, we got one ready to go here. Been in the refrigerator for a while now. And we're going to serve this puppy up and see what it tastes like. You're so sweet to do it on here, you know it. What? You. Oh, stop it. <laughs> stop it. All right, let's see. We're going to do this. We're going to serve this up. A nice, healthy serving of it. And it's probably the first one is probably not going to come out very pretty, but I'm going to try. Oh, that came out all right. So, guess what that's going to be? That's a that's got a bad shadow on it, hasn't it? Right there. How about right there? Let's see when that catches up there. See if that. Does. See how you can... It does. It goes yeah. into a shadow. And then it gets a little wonky there, so pulling back is a better... <clears throat> How's that? That's it, right there. Yeah. Okay. Pineapple dream no bake pie. And I better find a fork. Because <laughs> usually she gets to try these first, but this one's mine. Because yeah. I don't know what she's got over there, but... <laughs> Mmm. We're at 263. Oh, that's so good. Bo said, Bo heard that. He's like, let me, let me test it. Mmm. Lots of pineapple. Mmm. That's a good summer dessert. Excuse me, I'm going to hand this to my beautiful, beautiful little wife. Oh, I get to taste it. Mm -hmm. I can't taste it, but, but I can't taste it after you. So there you have it. Two desserts, no bake, mm. less than an hour. The only thing you've got to do... <clears throat> oh, golly, that's good. <laughs> do I get an eat udern? Udern. There you go. Okay. So, um, simple little desserts to make. Um, if you need something to throw together real quick, this happens and you can throw it together before supper. Put it in the refrigerator by the time you're done eating. It's chilled enough for you to eat. It actually, the pineapple uh, or either banana, either one of those, uh, you could probably serve it immediately, but it's always best a little chill. It just firms it up a little bit, makes it a little nicer to eat. We're gonna post three recipes for you. The banana cream pie, uh, dreamy pineapple and a uh, what's called a strawberry lasagna because it is layered. Um, but they're all three, no bake and all very simple to make. I, I made the strawberry lasagna um, night before last and I think it took me 30 minutes to put it together. Really, really good. 
I thank you so much for watching me, 252 people watching. Thank you so much. I love you very much. Well wishes for my wife. She'll be, she'll be all right. She'll make it through. And I love y'all so much. And thank you so much for the, uh, for the support. Uh, and, and Lindy, Lindy should be back live Sunday at four o'clock. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And I will see you. I'm going to be out of town next weekend. That's right. Uh, next week, I won't be here. Uh, going a little on a little Jeep trip down to Alabama. But I'll uh, see you the week after that, okay? Thank you. See you then. Good night.